Ever since I started selling on eBay, making around 12 to 15,000 pound profit every single month, Zeek Analytics have been the backbone of my business because it's all about the products which you are going to sell. And I strongly believe even though Zeek Analytics is the pay tool and the price per it as compared to how much money I have made is green in sand at the end of the day. And any company out there who is offering you just a $1 trial where you can use most of the features inside the Zeek Analytics, they do strongly believe in their products. And I know a lot of people, they shy away from having a subscription for paid tools, but think about how many times you order something from Uber Eats. And I think as it like waste of money, you can go pick the same products from the store, probably get 30, 40% cheaper, but it takes away money from your pocket, but it does give you convenience at the end of the day. We are paying for convenience and the convenience of finding the products that you're going to get by using Zeek Analytics is going to skyrocket your sale. I strongly believe that. That's the reason I've been using this tool ever since I started selling on eBay. So I will put the link for that inside the description for a, for a $1 trial. I know a lot of people shy away from having a paid subscription, but do try. It only costs you $1. And how are you going to use it? I'm going to break down in this video. So be a lot of people ask me, what plan should I get for Zeek Analytics to get started? Obviously start with $1 trial and you will be able to use most of the feature. When it comes to having a paid plan, then I will suggest just get started with the basic plan. In order for you to make a full-time income, the basic plan is going to be more than enough. Obviously, if you want to go beyond making 150, 200,000, 250,000 every single year, then there are other skills that you're going to have to learn. And when the time will come, then you can upgrade your plan. You can do that anytime. I already have a subscription, so I'm just going to click on login. But if you don't have a subscription, just click on start $1 trial. It only going to cost you $1 to get started. Click on login and uh, then I I'm going to fill in obviously my username, password and stuff. And this is how the Zeek Analytics is going to look like when you are going to log in. And on the top left corner right here, you can see I have selected the marketplace UK. Obviously it does work in US, Germany, Australia, China, and then you can select AliExpress right here as compared to uh, like just having the trending eBay niches, you can get trending AliExpress niches as well. But in this video, I'm just going to focus on eBay. So I live in United Kingdom. I'm going to select United Kingdom. The first thing that I get started with, I look at what products are trending, what niche is trending. So it will give me initial idea where I need to get started from. In the UK, the UK extension lead cable is getting £21,960 revenue every single month and this is based on last 30 month you can see right here the other thing that you can see is uh, you can scroll down as well a lot of the different niches and depending on how much revenue they are making if you are interested in one particular niche or one particular product just click on that one and then zeek analytics will analyze the niche for you this is your starting point. This is where you're going to select what niche you are going into. A lot of people ask me then what niche should I get started with? To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. You should focus more on a products that you are going to sell. And this is what I want to showcase you how you are going to select the product regardless of whatever the business model you are going to use. So before we get started and uh, we find the crazy products to sell, the first thing that you want to do on click on quick setting icon right here and then select the marketplace. We're going to select eBay, eBay.co.uk. Depending on where you're from, you can select the relevant one. The shipping location, I will put the United Kingdom. The source website is which one you are going to use for your supplier. So depending on your business model, I will cover every source website. So there is Amazon, there is AliExpress, there is CJ Dropshipping, and there is Alibaba. So Amazon, AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, that will be something which we're going to use in a dropshipping business model where we are not buying any inventory up front, right? But Alibaba.com, obviously, if we need to buy products 
in bulk and then we get started with the wholesale business model so depending on your budget you will be able to pick which one is the best for you so i'm going to go through them step by step so first one is going to be the amazon and i'm going to select amazon.co.uk amazon to ebay dropshipping is is crazy it works really well because uh, of the faster delivery yes there are certain certain hiccups like packing all that kind of stuff as well but there are solution for each and everything i have made many videos about amazon to ebay drop shipping i will put the link for those inside the description so the first one one whenever i select that inside my trending ebay products it's gonna pull up the products which are trending have the lower price on amazon and they are being sold for the higher price on eBay. So these are tons of products right here. I didn't have to do anything. It pulled up all the data and you can see there are tons of products right here. So I will show you a couple of examples. So for example, this product right here, this product right here. If I look at the product uh, on um, eBay, the price for this one is 42.89 and six of them already has been sold, which means this product is selling on a consistent basis and 10 people have viewed this product in last 24 hour. Obviously this product have a demand as well. And then the pack is 14 kilo. It's a, I believe lamb and rice, and it's a dry food for dogs. The price for the similar product on eBay, you can see this one is 35.99. You can see this one right here, 35.99. And it is exactly the same product. You can see the pack of 14 kilo is in this one you can see right here. So the product, is being sold on Amazon for $35.99 and the same product is being sold on eBay is $42.89. The other example that you can see right here, this product has been sold three times. The price on eBay is £16.03 and the same product is being sold on Amazon for $8.99. So these are the types of things that the Zeek is going to pull out for you inside this category. We can change that. For example, if I click on settings and then instead of having a source website, amazon.co.uk, I can select AliExpress. So now what the Zeek is going to do is to pull up all the products which have a lower price on AliExpress, but have a higher price on the, the eBay. So these are all those products which are trending in last 30 days. This is something you need to keep in mind that you get the latest, latest data. This is not from last uh, one year. This is a very decent data right here. So if I click right here, for example, right here, and then I click on this one right here, then it is going to showcase me the other products which are being sold on AliExpress, which are very similar to the seller who is selling this product on eBay, but these products have a lower price. So for example, this product right here, these are 3D metal things. If I open this one right here, and then I open the listing for the product on eBay as well, you can see this product is being sold for approximately six pound and 57 pence right but if i sell the similar if i see the similar product being sold on um, aliexpress you can see this one is being sold for one pound and 19 pence as well so even though the price is inside the dollar here it's going to give me the rough idea how much is going to be inside it the pounds as well so depending on you know wherever you are watching from so this is how you are going to use they have made it very easy in this update where you can just simply select the source website which is aliexpress in this case and before i was doing on amazon and it will simply give you the product inside instead of you having to type anything right the other way which i use is having advanced tools inside the Zeek Analytics. I'm not gonna go through them in this video because this is where you're gonna be over 200, 250,000. Uh, but you know, I believe making about 80 to 100,000 pound every single year in a terms of profit gonna change a lot of people's life. And for that, the dropshipping is something that you can obviously get started with. 
the other things the Zeek Analytics uh, have inside right here that it have a trending drop shippers. So how we can uh, obviously take an inspiration from here, right? These are the sellers. So I'm gonna obviously uh, filter them depending on their location. They are from uh, obviously a different, different countries right here. So for example, if I scan this particular seller and then I will jump into their store, obviously they are, you know, Zeke Analytics is doing their magic. It's going to analyze all the listing, going to give me what products they are selling and then how I'm going to uh, make most of this one uh, while this will load I will look at the other seller as well so this one loaded already so right on the top it is telling me this person is doing drop shipping and they are doing most of the drop shipping from AliExpress they are based in the United States this is the the obviously the account that they have in last uh, seven days they have sold 52 items right and their feedback is only 1541 and they have a lower feedback. So lower feedback, new account, and they are getting decent sale. The average selling price on their, their account is obviously 33 pound and 33 pence, which means that they are probably selling, you know, a little bit high ticket item. They are not uh, focused on selling five dollars or five pound or 10 pound type of products. So these are the listings. So what I normally do, I will filter these listing with the sales. So for example, this listing right here, I have filtered it. So these are all the products. So this one right here, the first one, second one, third one, and then I can see the source, the suppliers as well, like where they are sourcing these products from. And the reason I have done that, because if there is a new seller is having a good success with the newer account and they are selling this product and they are being sold on a regular basis, then I can, you know, in a sneaky way, copy and paste the same item and it will work for me as well. So they have already done the hard work. This is the way you can obviously, you know, replicate their ideas. The other thing that you need to do inside the Zeek Analytics, obviously this is how you are gonna find the products. Uh, as I said, there are many functions like uh, in advanced tools and there are many functions in uh, terms of uh, product research, but those are a little bit more advanced. I'm going to keep this tutorial a very simple and very beginner friendly for the purpose of this video. So, but the next thing that you can use inside the Zeek Analytics is going to be our um, title builder. So the title builder is something when you're going to do your listing, you need to make sure your listing is well optimized. What do I mean by that? Obviously, whenever a customer will search something on eBay, they will type certain word inside the search. And if we can manage to find those word and we put those words inside our listing, then everything will match up. So for example, if I need to sell, let's start with the iPhone cable right here. So if I need to sell iPhone cable, I'm just going to click on search. So Zeek Analytics will pull up all the data. For example, Zeek Analytics is saying, okay, if you will use iPhone cable, you will have 200 average searches in a month, right? And your competition is 5,955. But if you use the long tail keyword right here for Apple iPhone, then you have a lot of average searches and then you have a very less competition as well. And the sale is a lot higher. So whenever the customer type for Apple iPhone, obviously you're not going to have a problem once you are saying for Apple iPhone instead of you're not saying just Apple iPhone, right? So this is an important thing to keep in mind that you're not claiming that this cable is made by Apple. You are just saying for Apple iPhone. So if you use that word, then you have more people looking for that competition is less as well and the sale is also higher and then you can also see that the cable that you are going to sell a lot of people are buying for iphone 15 and 16 so obviously even though uh, a, a lot of iphone models gonna use the similar style of cable but a lot of people are searching for iPhone 15 and 16. They might not be aware that this is the same cable they can use for other models as well. Having that word inside your title is going to make a lot of difference because the customer is going to know that they are buying the cable for the phone which they have as well. So for example, if I select this one, 
I can just simply click on that one and then it's going to start building the title on the top right here. So this one and then I'm going to select, let's say this uh, one right here and then I'm going to select the, the, gen the generic one uh, from here. So for example, if I do cable charger fast and then I can do obviously a C charging cable. Okay. So these are obviously the title that I can build for me, even though that title wouldn't make any sense, but we can rearrange that one. So obviously for Apple iPhone, I'm going to remove one iPhone from this one, 15, 16 charger cable, fast C fast. I will do type C charging cable right here. So this is the title that is now well optimized. So if I copy this title, I can just simply click here, copy this title and paste it when I'm, I am doing my listing. So this is the way when the customer will type something inside the eBay search, then because they are typing these words a lot, the chances of my listing showing up on the first page where most of the sellers they are going to get their sales is a lot higher. So these are all the tools that you will be able to use inside the Zeek analytics. These are some, this is something that is more than enough for a beginner to make a decent amount of money.